The anglerfish is known for its small lamp with which it illuminates the dark depths of the sea and attracts the small fish it eats. But exactly how this lighting mechanism works wasn't fully known. To find out, researchers from Cornell University isolated the genome of the bacteria that live in the bulb. And they found an interesting symbiosis. The oodles won't win a beauty contest even among fish, but they don't need to. Where they swim, you can't see anything. The females of this bizarre fish attract prey and potential partners with a glowing bulb, which is a colony of bioluminescent bacteria. Fish and bacteria have a symbiotic relationship. The bacteria help attract food for the fish, and the fish supply the bacteria with essential nutrients. It is difficult to study fish and their bacteria because they are found at great depths. To shed light on the mystery, Cornell researchers analyzed the genomes of bioluminescent bacteria collected from the Gulf of Mexico. The scientists looked at bacteria that co-settle with two species of diving fish. They compared them to the same bacteria but which moved freely. It was found that the symbiont bacteria had lost almost 50% of their genes, which were replaced by pseudogenes they can disappear over time. This is fraught with errors in building amino acids, breaking down nutrients, and searching for food. Most likely, fish are able to supply bacteria with all the necessary substances, scientists believe. To explain why fish evolved so long ago and bacteria still tolerate change, scientists have suggested that fish used to cooperate with another species of bacteria and then for some reason replaced them with a new one. And they are now adjusting to the symbiosis format. An interesting fact is that these bacteria are not the only ones who live in close symbiosis with the oyster catcher. The males of these fish have evolved into dwarfs that attach to the female after meeting her. In some cases, the male astrid returns to free life after a while, but in the most specialized species, the partners remain together for life, fusing blood systems. Sometimes the female carries several parasitic males on her at once. The only organ that continues to function is the sexual organ-producing sperm, which the female needs for reproduction. This kind of specific reproduction has led to a complete loss of the fish's acquired immunity. To avoid rejection of partners, oyster catchers have to give up many immune mechanisms. In an article for the journal Science, scientists admit that they do not yet know how fish manage to protect themselves from diseases and pathogens.